Hey everyone. Hey bag makers, I'm Sarah Lawson from So Sweetness. This is my husband Danny, and you're watching Social Sunday, my weekly sewing chat. Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Thanks so much for joining us for Social Sunday. I see Wendy's watching. Um, Clovis, uh, Clovis is mentioning rain here in Chicago. We've been having rain all day long and I checked the forecast. I know sometimes the weather forecast is not 100% accurate, but it looked like clouds and rain for us all week. So um, I don't know, a little sad face for me there. I, I really enjoyed, uh, we had a couple sunny days this past week, but um, I'm sure there's sunny days on the other side of the rain after this week. Um, Mary Ann's watching from Connecticut. Um, lots to chat about today and also I decided last minute to do a bunch of giveaways. So some of the giveaways will be live and some of them will be um, comment type giveaways for those who watch the recording later in the week. So we're not leaving anyone out. Um, I was kind of disgruntled so, yesterday. Oh, sorry. You can go for it. I think the YouTube comments are not popping up because I say all Facebook. Oh, okay. You Should do I... this and I'll be right back. Okay. Danny's going to do some um, technical magic with the computer, see if we can get YouTube back on. Um, I was kind of disgruntled yesterday. I went to go use my serger and it was the first time I attempted to use it since we moved into the new house. And I, I was disappointed to find that the thread stand um, with the hooks, uh, basically the thread guide, was missing from the serger. I also have a cover stitch from the same manufacturer. From It's also a Juki. But the, the thread stand is a little bit different and it was sort of secured in place like I couldn't remove it. So... I couldn't use my serger. I went online to try to order the parts and I did find them um, kind of like on a back order status. So I went through checkout for the parts. Not super expensive, only $25, but um, I'll have to go without the serger for a little bit longer. Uh, I was planning on trying my hand in a garment. It's been quite some time since I've made one, um, but uh, I guess I'll have to wait a little bit longer on that. So um, I had a question, Danny, should I, is it okay if it's I... Not, it says it's, it's airing out. It will not allow YouTube comments. Okay. Can, is YouTube still watching? Yeah. Okay. Um, I had a question for those of you that are able to. Danny says the YouTube comments are not coming through for us right now. But um, I know Book Club has been was popular last year. I was considering choosing another Book Club selection. I guess I wanted to send out some feelers um, to those of you that are able to comment um, if you would be interested in another book club selection. I did find four sewing related fiction books that I was hoping to uh, find time to read to, to find a good choice for book club if you would be interested in that. Um, I do always read the books first before we um, suggest them for book club just because I've read a few that were either um, just okay and not super great books or there was not a lo lot of sewing or quilting related content in them so I'm hoping I have four that I just downloaded to my Kindle have not read yet I'm hoping out of the four I can at least get one that's really good and also has a lot of sewing related content so let me know if you'd like to do another book club I know a lot of in-person libraries are closed right now so that kind of limits things to people um, that um, already happen to have the book which uh, chances are kind of slim there or read on electronic devices like Kindle or um, if the audio book is available. Um, so let me know if you'd be interested in, in another book club. She really likes book clubs, so thank you for that, Sylvia. Um, another comment from Glennis. Uh, she enjoyed book club as well. Okay, I see a lot of comments. Yes, book club. Okay, so I'll get on that and um, hopefully all four books are really good and maybe we could do four um, book club selections coming through coming mm. soon. And also, I also wanted to ask, I wrote myself a note, what other events would you like to see? Um, book club, I felt was really successful. I'm curious what other types of sewing related things we could do together or other type of events. Um, I'm kind of having, um, I guess, a brain fart, if you want to call it. I was trying to think of something fun that we could do together. Um, so let me know if you have any suggestions or you can always email me. Uh, my email is sarah at sewsweetness.com and that's sarah with uh, no H. I also wanted to say, um, so your dad says yes to the book club for some reason. My dad says yes. To I the see book it. Club. I'm watching YouTube comments <laughs> through our YouTube feed itself and a ton of people on YouTube. My dad, said yes or to the book club. my dad or my mom. It's your dad. It says my dad. Bob, unless your mom changed your name, which <laughs> I doubt. That's so funny. No, 
Um, I also wanted to say thank you guys for speaking of which, um, while we're on the thread of talking about comments, um, thank you guys always for looking out for me, whether it's something sewing related, um, lots of people often suggest sewing notions that I can review on the show, or if it's just general, um, suggestions in regards to something I've mentioned on the show, but it's not sewing related. I, I burned my hand, which lately in the new house, it seems like I've, I've, been getting really good at burning myself um but i burned my arm like a week and a half ago oh the logo i went the um, logo just doesn't want to be nice um, i burned my arm and i had remembered someone commented on the show um, put cucumbers on it with raw eggs no besides oh. aloe which i already knew someone um, mentioned if you put toothpaste on it it would prevent it from blistering and so after I burned myself, because I remembered about the toothpaste, I put on the aloe and then I put on toothpaste and I covered it with a Band-Aid so I could just leave it on overnight. And uh, the next day, the, the place where I burned myself looked a little red, but it never ended up blistering. And then actually, I was looking at my arm before the show and it looks pretty good. So um, thank you guys always for looking out for me. I really appreciate it. And um, uh, yeah, I guess that, that's... I saw a ton of So Long Quilt Alongs. Um... Aren't they talking about like once so I'm, a month? I'm so curious long, since since the Sew Sweetness channel is mainly, I, I mean, obviously it's uh, bag sewing patterns. Would people be Black opposed? Yeah, I'm wondering if people would be opposed to me doing some sort of quilt related project, uh, quilt blocks, quilt instructions. Um, I was kind of thinking about some sort of quilt project, but. I wasn't sure if people would not be interested because we're mainly sewing bags on this channel, but let me know. Danny's going to keep his eye on the comments for that. Yep. Um, One thing I see too, man, do I need a haircut? Shave too. <laughs> Times are rough out here. I think a lot of people probably need haircuts. I saw a few people email me last week that they mentioned offhandedly that they were in need of haircuts. Um, all right, so your favorite, well, second favorite part of Social Sunday when you're on the show. Uh, we'd like to invite all the bag makers to stand proud. Let us know in the comments that you're part of the So Sweetness Squad. Um, we really appreciate your support. Um, I feel like you guys really, uh, the support uh, has increased in the last, I don't know, two months. Uh, we've been getting, you know, slight increase in orders, which is really supportive. We really appreciate that. Um, extra likes. I know a lot of people have been watching the show since. Um... Yeah, people are still sharing a ton too. <laughs> I, you know, I know we don't mention it and stuff, but people still share a lot. They put, you know, bag lady, bag dude, bag maker, bag whatever you want to put. Um, so sweet in the squad, I see a lot. And we do, you know, truly, truly do appreciate it. I was thinking of telling graphic making, telling Sarah to, I should make a graphic like end of, maybe the end of each show, we do like a, a roundup of. How many likes, how many shares, how many, you know, comments or whatever per, and we can sort of track it week to week and see how it goes and what's doing and sort of set a show appreciation for people doing that. Um, so after tonight's show, we promised the kids we're going to, I started watching the TV show Castle with the kids, even though it's been off the air for some time. We, we've been watching uh, reruns of Castle, Violet and William love watching it. And then they also wanted to play. We play this card game sometime called, sometimes called Five Crowns. It's really fun. It's kind of, what would you compare it. it to? Is it comparable to another, like a rummy style game? It's like rummy almost, yeah. Yeah. It's, Start with three cards, four cards, all up to it's 13 really, cards. It's, it's really super fun. So we're going to be doing that after the show tonight. Um, I did write down, I did want to do, we're going to have to go by the honor system on this one, but I did want to give away um, a live prize for... Um, we need the, the parents and the family to enter for the comments. So either parents or grandparents, um, if you have either children or grandchildren that are sewing, so sewing projects with you that they can mostly sew by themselves is what I'm looking for. So if that's you, um, leave me a comment because I wanted to give away, um, a set of minikins season one to a child who's sewing. Obviously, I have to do that through the parent, so the parent needs to comment. But I wanted to give away um, a set live. So if your child or grandchild is sewing with you, leave me a comment either on Facebook or YouTube. Danny's going to pick one in a second. Is that is that okay if I have you pick one? Too busy. Sure. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm just reading all the comments. It says nice. Look, I put a little collection of 
Um, let's see. Oh, logo, I got it this time. It's a little uh -huh. slow. Danny no, has, I love all the questions Sarah and says, comments Danny, for Danny. Danny has quarantine eyebrows, these new cameras. <laughs> That's so funny. And Stacy had a good one. I saw this one on before Look the show. Forward, um, I was watching a replay last week, and my 10-year-old saw Danny smile. She said, you have the most amazingly kind smile, Danny. I agree. We could just end thank the you. show there. I mean, <laughs> no. thank you, everyone, for showing up. And uh, I'll continue to read all the nice Danny comments because I really appreciate them. Thank you. Um, all right. Are we losing the YouTube comments again? The YouTube comments have been gone. I'm just on the feed menu. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, is anyone commenting yes, that their child is sewing with them? I see grandchildren, my daughter, uh, my daughter. Can I uh, close my eye and point and then we'll draw the winner My that son's one? 42 years old. I don't think that counts. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Uh, it is awesome. That's super awesome. Should we let it go for a couple minutes? There's a lot of them. I don't know. How are we going to choose? Which uh, one? Can you just close um, your eyes and choose one, maybe? How about we do one from Facebook and one from YouTube? Yeah, so, so two winners. Okay, yeah. that's fair. All right. If you, I'm going to say 10 seconds, get all your final comments since so everyone's included, and I'll randomly pick a number on the screen, and I'll just touch my finger, whatever it is, and hopefully I'll be someone who said they have a child or a grandchild that sews. Okay, so if you're the winner, please email me after the show just so I have your contact and I can get you set up with the prize. Um, the prize is uh, Minikin Season 1 Bundle, and um, my email is sarah at sosweetness.com, and that's Sarah with no H. All right. You ready? Okay. Yep, I'm ready. We'll go for the Facebook one so I can post that one really fast. Okay. Okay, let me scroll around. Three. Close my eyes. Okay. Shh. Nope, someone teaching my daughter. She's 34. Sorry, Nancy. Uh, let's scroll around again. Hi, from Florida. Sorry. One more time. Come okay. on. You know, I'll go back a page. There we go. Boom. Right. Oh, that logo. Can that you logo just, is just, can you just I'm leaving it, it off. It's done. Okay. I'm moving it. All right. Congratulations. Jennifer says, nice. um, Jennifer says, my daughter's 12 and she saved her allowance to buy a sewing machine. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. She got a baby lock seat and I'm teaching her. So Jennifer, please email me after the show and then we're going to pick another winner, one from YouTube, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Boom. Brenda McEachern, E-A-C-H-E-R-N, 10-year-old granddaughter has made a bag from rainbow jeans she outgrew and could not bear to throw away. That's really cool too. Yeah. Great I stories. Wish I could Thanks post for sharing that for the you, stories. But I can't. Yeah, we're having a little technical difficulties getting the YouTube comments up, but we YouTube's can YouTube's not playing nice, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's get over to. I wanted to give away some more stuff. Um, so for whatever reason, I had three big bags of these that I gave away on previous shows. The zippers by the yard. Each person a separate bag gets one. Yeah, we're going to do three winners. Two winners are going to be live, and one is going to be... So one Facebook, one YouTube again? Yeah, sure. Um, these prizes were not claimed, and so I, I don't want to hang on to them. I'd rather get them sent off. So we're going to do... Uh, can, can you think of a question off the cuff that we could mm. have people answer? Sorry, I should have asked you before the show, but it is what it is. Oh, wow, that's a tough one. Um, favorite cartoon character. So go ahead. I always type... think like sewing related, and I'm not sure to think general it's questions. It's fine. It could be any question. All right. Tell me your favorite cartoon character to be entered for this prize. Again, we're going to draw two live winners and one um, uh, we'll announce next week. Um, we'll pick one from YouTube, one from Facebook. Um, favorite cartoon character. All right, so that, I know that's going to take a second. Um, mm -hmm. I probably should have arranged my outline a little differently. That's fine. Um, I wanted to announce, while, while we're waiting for the, the favorite cartoon character comments, I wanted to announce the winner of last week's giveaway. And that winner is Charlie's mom on YouTube. So congratulations to you. Um, that's Connie. I already heard back from Connie via email. And um, again, congratulations to you. And we're going to, besides those zippers by the yard, I have another giveaway for the end of the show. So stay tuned for that. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, that's all I have on my outline. So if you have any questions for me, anything that I can answer live, uh, type your question in the comments. It can be either a sewing related question question about a notion or tool, bag making related question, 
and I'll answer as many as I can live. Um, I know Danny's going through the cartoon characters. There's first. a lot of them. Okay, we'll we'll give that some time to go through first. <laughs> Let me get some water. And I'm not saying Becky wins, but uh, she had a great comment. Becky Tierney said Homer Simpson, who reminds me of my husband. <laughs> That's a good one. I thought you were gonna say Danny, but I'd probably also remind Sarah of Homer Simpson sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> Yep. It's been a Beer. while since I watched that show. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add while we're waiting for those uh, no, comments? No, I think we have enough through? comments. We got enough comments? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and pick one then. So you should pick a number. Um, it's probably within two pages. and. 14? First or second page. Uh, first page. Three, six, Foghorn, Leghorn. Okay, Thelma's the first winner of the bag of zippers. Uh, Foghorn, Leghorn is her okay, answer. This one would be... Um, I'm just going to have to st say stop because they're going through so fast. Stop. Go ahead. Uh, Scooby-Doo, Deborah Sales, S-A-Y-L-E-S. Okay. Congratulations, Deborah is the second winner of the bag of zippers. Deborah Sales, uh, Scooby-Doo was her answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, excellent. All right. Let's uh, hopefully, have you been saving questions or not really? <laughs> so I, there's no way of going through and all that and... No, there's no question saved. Um, I'm going to read that one then. Oh. Uh, which one? It was a suggestion for a pattern. It was like three lo three lines long. Let's go look for it. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's still on the first page. Now there's no. just so many coming. I saw someone was suggesting... There oh, there we go. Um, Susan said, with the limitations of COVID-19 exercise, a lot of us are going for more walks. I would like to uh, make a small crossbody or backpack bag okay. to wear... On my walks to hold my water bottle, phone, keys, and small flashlight. I don't want a large bag, um, but it needs to be deep enough for the width of those items. Um, let me see. I know we recently did the tower crossbody bag, but maybe we can come up with something, a smaller backpack. I know we have the park sling backpack, but maybe something smaller. I'll write that down on my list. Um, small backpack. Karen says, are you unpacked in the house? Um, not really. So we do still have boxes. Uh, I'm not stressing myself out putting everything away at once. So today I did, I think I put two or three boxes away. Um, I told, actually I was telling Danny this morning, every day or days that I feel like it, I'm going to do a little bit of organizing. But if I don't feel like it that day, I'm not going to pressure myself to. So um there's no rush. We're not so, in a hurry, right? So what about a promise ring backpack? Oh, that? that's a good one. The promise ring backpack is a smaller backpack, too. I forgot about that one. An oldie but goodie. Um, what else is going on with the house? Um, Ever use a third hand for seam ripping? Debbie wants to know. A third hand? Is that the name yeah, of the item? Yeah, it's a, in quotation marks, third hand. Um, I don't think I, I have to investigate that one. Third hand for seam ripping. How about ripping? an acrylic template for the pet carrier? Renee wants to know. Um, we, let me investigate that. that um, Susan wants to know about a dog walking bag. Um, I do have that on my list. Um, I wanted to come out with a few pet related sewing projects and accessories this year. And I was trying to do like a compilation pattern of a bunch of different small, quick pet related projects. And the dog walker bag was, uh, on my list to be included in that set of patterns. I'm just waiting for... One of the things we do have to set up in the studio is we need to purchase another table for my step photos because our current studio setup, I don't have lighting for that. And so I'm kind of waiting to finish my new pattern uh, with the step photos. Um, we're going to try to order a table tonight, right? And do we need to order more light lights for that too? Um, no, I have no? plenty of lights. Okay, excellent. Uh, Retha says, when people find out I have a sewing machine, they have lots of sewing for me to do. How do I gently mm -hmm. but firmly say no? That's um, a great question. That is a great question. Um, it's always good to be upfront and say no right off the bat rather than... You know, it takes time. Sewing is very time intensive, I've noticed. People think you go up a quilt together in a couple hours and that is generally not the case unless you're literally just taking two sheets of fabric, putting like a seam and binding and you're done. But that, that no one makes a quilt like that, so... I it's, think it's, it's hard. It's underestimating. It's hard for me to tell people no sometimes because I try really hard to be nice, and I've even, <laughs> I've even, um, I remember recently mentioning to my therapist like 
I don't know, I just want people, I just want people to like me. So that's why I try really hard to be nice. Well, what would you say? Something, what's Honestly, good... I just don't have the time for it. Uh, you know, I, I can give you a great suggestion where you can go or, you yeah, know, who could do it for idea. you. But, you know, I just don't have the time to, I have a lot of stuff on my list to do. Yeah, that's, a, I guess just being be honest, honest is yeah. the best. Unless you have a lot of free time. Um, Diana says, just say I don't have that skill. Yeah, that's, yeah, sometimes it's not within my skill set. Ruthie says, uh, for walking, um, the tower or any crossbody help you keep the balance because the bag is closer to your core. Oh, I didn't think about that. That's a good mm -hmm. um, reason for that particular bag. Cynthia says, I tell everyone, sorry, I don't do alterations. They leave me alone. Yeah, alterations are not. Hemming pants is one of the things people tend to ask for. Um, Dee Dee says, have you got the embroidery machine set up? Uh, we do have a spot for it. I'm looking at it right now. It's. I'm going to actually try <laughs> using it this week because my buddy, um, who's a Chicago fireman, uh, requested um, a mask um, and with like he I found a really cool logo and he wanted to uh, for me to try to get it done and I offered it and I said sure we'll try and we have two options he turned um, a PNG file into an SVG file is that what we needed right I think so, so um, cross your fingers I'm across what was the team. logo that he requested oh uh, well I found this really cool it's like the Chicago fire department logo but the it's it's the outside of it and the inside is the Chicago flag but in black and white or the United States flag in black and white, and it's got the band of red for a fireman. So it's like, oh, okay. it like sort of like a cookie cutter. Say if you had the United States flag, and you took a cookie cutter the shape of the um, fireman oh, logo, oh, and you oh. cut it out in the center. Okay. So it's going to need two colors, black, oh, actually th three. It's black, white, and red. Uh, so I'm going to have to read a bunch on it. And I know Sarah loves for me to do the reading on mm -hmm. instruction manuals. And uh, <laughs> tomorrow after I'm um, doing orders, when we get home, I will be trying that out because I'd like to get it to home quickly as possible. And um, I'm going to tell him, don't tell any of his friends or other friends that we did that for him because this is a one-off, literally one-off. <laughs> Nate's a really good guy and I appreciate him, so um, for sure. That's he really gave funny. us a great house present when we moved in. He gave me an arcade cabinet that he made right. and 3D printed parts uh, to go into it and had a bunch of like arcade games built into it. Um, he assembled the whole thing, screen, keyboard, joysticks, all that stuff. Really nice job. So... Uh, can't say no to the guy. I'm going to piggyback off your effort because Christina men mentioned the other day that um, Violet would enjoy making embroidered hand sanitizer holders. Oh, she gave us some really nice ones. I remember mm -hmm. um, with the glitter, I think glitter vinyl. vinyl. Yeah, yeah, it was really, I mm -hmm. remember them. Um, the, a good company for embroidery files is Crashing Waves Designs, and that's what we're going to use for the hand sanitizer holders. Um, someone mentioned, do you have any tips for sewing with metal zippers? They need your help, please. I, okay. I didn't get their name because it went by too quick. Okay, that's fine. Um, Actually, Becca, I did remember it. So metal zippers, um, you can remove the metal teeth if you prefer, and that'll make that area easy to sew over. You'll still have the zipper ta tape, but the teeth will be removed. And I show how to do that in one of my videos, uh, different types of zippers. And near the end of the video, I talk about metal zippers, and, how, and I show how to remove the teeth. Um, you can either do that or if you'd rather leave the teeth intact. Um, I tend to like to hand crank when I get close to the area where the metal teeth are. So that, that if you're hand cranking, that helps avoid the um, having the needle break over the metals, metal teeth. You can kind of adjust things as you go along um, for the metal zippers. Audrey says, Sarah, are you designing new stuff? Um, yes, I am. Uh... Finishing up a new pattern, it's a travel, it's sort of a, not a huge travel bag, but like a medium to large size travel bag. Um, I do still have my list of new patterns that I was planning on working on. I think I wrote the list in January, so it's before all this stuff happened. And then we moved house, and so I was being really hard on myself at first because I was like, why aren't you coming out with new patterns and videos? I eased up a little because I recognized, hey, you're moving house. Moving generally takes... Um, a lot of time and a lot of effort when people have to move. So um, I told myself, you know, stop being so hard on yourself. Um, but and yeah, I do have stuff in the pipeline. Um, we're just trying to ease back in. And with the new ha cameras, it just took us a little bit longer. But I promise I have um, ideas and stuff ready to go. Um, Kathy says, I just laugh and say it's $50 per leg to shorten pants. I can't guarantee the fly won't be sewn shut. <laughs> That's really funny. I like that one People a lot. are saying the brother uses... PS files? We don't have a brother. We have a genome. Genomi? No, we have a brother. Is it brother? Yeah. Well, I'm looking look at the wrong one. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. 
so I might be in trouble. You're fine. Already. You're fine. Okay. Well, if you say I'm fine, then I'm fine, sir. You just you just referred to the file name as that's not correct, but oh, so you fine. know how to do this? I'll just give it to no, you. No, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, okay. You're, Damn. No, you can. And people ask, "Am I gonna sew the mask?" No, I'm not sewing the mask. Cause someone else made a funny joke that mm -hmm. Danny, you can put that logo on the bag you made, and they wrote <laughs> chuckles. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll sew the masks, no problem. See what Kathy wrote? Yeah, I did. I read it out loud. And okay, I, and so I, I was looked, busy writing. And I looked at you when I laughed, but that's okay. <laughs> Usually you look at me and laugh. I'm immune to it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have some saved here. All right, Krista says, My husband wants me to make him a wallet. He's worried that the cork fabric won't hold up uh, to going in and out of his pocket. Any thoughts? Um... We, I do have a few other wallet patterns, the Greenbacks Wallet Trio. Um, I know a lot of you, however, have made the cork wallets. I, I've made one too, but I don't use it extensively. Um, let us know in the comments if you've been using the cork wallet that you made uh, for some time and how it's holding up. Um, Danny will look uh, for that in the comments, um, and then hopefully we can get that post that answer posted for from Krista from real-time feedback on... Um, how people are liking the wallet. So people want to know if you did you and Violet get a chance to go see Smudge this week. Um, we were supposed to see, Violet and I were supposed to go visit Smudge on Thursday. However, it rained like torrential downpour all day Thursday, and so him going outside is contingent on the weather being nice. And so, once I saw the rain, I knew he was not going outside that day. So um, we did not see him. Hopefully next week we can see him. My friend Katie sent me a picture of him. She wrote him uh, the other day. So um, I tried not to feel jealous when I saw the picture and that she was riding him, but um, it's fine. He's okay. We're okay. Um, someday soon <laughs> we'll be meeting up again. Susan says, have you done a video about how to choose coordinating fabrics for bags? I just don't have this skill and I'm afraid of mixing too many prints yet. I love it when you do it. Um, I might have to talk about that on a future show. I as well have... Uh, it's difficult for me. I feel like the first few years I was sewing, it was much easier choosing prints. I don't know if it's because I have too much fabric now, but um, it usually takes me thir from between 30 minutes to a couple hours to choose fabrics for a bag. Um, so bounce ideas off me, and then I'll say I like a different one, and she still goes the one she had. So I don't know if she actually is <laughs> listening when she says, yeah, should I do this or that? I'm like, no, you should go with that zipper color. She's like, no, nah, I'm going to go with this one. I'm like... Okay, I generally have the better taste in fabric, but I do sometimes go with your your choices. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I've, you make great bag choices generally. Yeah, we'll talk about that soon on a show. Um, it is quite challenging, and um, it's just tough because the size of the prints and the the size of the bags, and if straps are coming into play and cutting off the design, all those things are things you have to think about. Um, have you tried the Clover Fabric Folding Pen? I think we talked about that, uh, it must be a couple years ago on Social Sunday. I think we posted a separate video on the YouTube channel about that. I did enjoy using the Clover Fabric Folding Pen. Basically, in a nutshell, what that pen does is it dispenses a little bit of liquid, and wherever the liquid is, the fabric easily folds toward the wrong side. For instance, if you're pressing straps or needing to press fabric toward the wrong side at a certain increment. Um, the Clover Fabric Folding Pen is great for that, and also I like even more the, the Hot Ruler is great for folding things over at certain increments. The Clover Hot Ruler, we have a video for that as well. It reminds me, it's a ruler, but it's printed on, so it has all the measurements of a ruler, but it's printed on what feels to me very similar to Paltex sewing interfacing, and you can iron on it, so it's really great because um, instead of measuring and then pressing, you can just use the ruler to press um, say, for example, if you need to press toward the wrong side by a quarter of an inch or a half inch or whatever the increment is, the hot ruler is really helpful for that. Um, Gretchen wanted to know on YouTube if we mm -hmm. were, or if you were to design any shirts for Mersh. Um, and I've actually found uh, an avenue that we can have different um, Mersh available and not be, I think it, the one we want to choose, I'll go ahead and say because I don't, I don't matter, sir, but it would be through Amazon. And they offer a service where they keep the stock and then you submit the files to do whatever you want, shirts, mugs, whatever. Like a print on and, demand type yes, of service. Yes, and same thing. Yeah. So you get the the mug, the shirts and stuff, but you have to be approved for the server first. So it's a slower process and that's what I'm looking to go through uh, currently. And I think it's the best one for us because it just spaces uh, an issue and it will help with that. I wonder if, 
I guess we'll just have to talk about it after the show. Um, Tamara says, I love using metal zippers. I just go really slow and hand crank with no issues or broken needles. Yeah, I totally agree with the, the hand cranking recommendation. Jennifer says, they're in the hoop embroidery files to make the mask. Um, that's pretty cool. That's cool. I didn't know about that. Um, let's see. Should, um... Karen's. Oh, Karen says, I made my son a cork wallet two years ago. He's still using it. Okay, wow, two, year, two years is a long, a long time. time. Thanks, Karen. That's a great um, that's great feedback about the cork wallet. And um, if you're not familiar, I have um, a pattern file on my website, um, six quick and easy cork projects, and the wallet is included in that bu little bundle, um, and it's free. Pat says, Sarah, will you be carrying any new stock items? We actually recently... I think I asked in the Facebook group a couple weeks ago of what types of items and things people would like to see in the shop. So I did two separate questions. One I was asking about fabrics and one I was asking about notions. So the fabrics, I didn't investigate. A lot of people were asking for wax canvas, um, laminated fabrics, and faux suede. So I did investigate those and I found a source for some of them. However, um, getting shipments of fabric from other countries right now is really, um, Quite honestly, it's getting really expensive because of the shipping, shipping. cert charges that all of the carriers have increased. Um, for example, we had to hold off ordering, restocking our glitter vinyl because uh, due to the extra shipping cost, it would have increased the prices by $3 for each piece. And we were not comfortable increasing our prices by $3 because that's a big increase. So we're just kind of biding our time on uh, the sh uh, reordering glitter vinyl till the prices go back down. However, the notions, um, we restocked a lot of, we've stocked a lot of new notions recently, for instance, um, and these are all based on your recommendations. Um, someone asked in the Facebook group for brightly colored snaps for the snap setter tool. We've got those in stock in a couple different variations, bright colors and pastel colors, like a variety pack, what else? Um, some people were asking for OD coat for us to stock that. So we've got that in stock in the shop. Um, court cording we've added to this, to the shop. What else? Just that needle buddy thing. Um, yes. Uh, the hump jumper, people were asking for the hump jumper, um, which is the, the one that I added to the shop is the one I personally have. It's called big jigs. It's a acrylic little template that you, um, place in your sewing machine when you're sewing over thick seams. So um, a lot of the things that people have suggested, um, we've stocked and brought into the shop. So um, we, again, we always appreciate your suggestions. They don't go unheard. And um, yeah, lately we've added a lot of new things and we'll get fabric as we're able to. We got a cork shipment last week and we're getting two more shipments in in the next few weeks. Um, we're still waiting on the black with rainbow cork, but that is being shipped to us shortly. So hopefully yeah. we'll have that soon. People are asking about the black with rainbow cork. Also, okay. um, the rose gold vinyl. Um, if you're going to get that back rose in stock. Rose gold vinyl. Yes, that's the same problem. The full leather and the glitter vinyl, um, same issue with the, the price increase due to shipping. So we're just biding our time until shipping prices go down. What else was I going to say? Can you um, use your the, leather? Oh, I wanted to let everyone know also for the Sheffield tool bag, the metal frames for that project, we... We did get those in, and I relisted those on the website last week. So if you were waiting for the metal frames for the Sheffield tool bag, we have those back in. Um, Denise wants to know, can you use uh, your leather um, that you sell or the cork or glitter on a maker? Um, a Cricut maker? It just says maker. Um, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. You can cut out uh, glitter, vinyl, cork or faux leather on the Cricut Maker, which is an electric cutting machine. Uh, Gloria wants to know any zipper pulls coming? Zipper pulls are on their way to us. Uh, they've already been shipped. Um, I don't have any update on the tracking yet, but um, they're on the way. And for those of you who didn't know, we do have an out of stock notification set up on the website. So if you're looking at any product and it's listed as out of stock, you can enter your email address and you'll automatically be emailed as soon as I list it back in stock. Um, if that particular product has a size or color option. For instance, um, if it's a zipper pull, if there's two different options, silver or rainbow, you just need to select the option from the drop down box first, and then that out of stock notification box will pop up and you can enter your email. So um, if there is a drop down box, just select your 
choice first, if it's whether it's a color or size, whatever, and then you can enter your email. Rebecca says, have you tried the bias tape making machine that folds and irons in one step? I actually do have that. Um, I think they're not making it anymore. I think it was made by Singer. Um, I do have it. I'm willing to break it out for Social Sunday. Let me just see if uh, it's available anywhere else or if a similar machine is available because I'd hate to demonstrate it and then nobody can nobody can find it anywhere. Um, Donna says, Danny, what size are you going to make? Um, for I, I the, assume the embroidery, for right? The, for the mask, yeah. Are you yeah. just going to cover the whole... No, I think it should be like offset, don't you think? So it's not like in the breathing area or something. Oh, I didn't think of, yeah. If they're, if I can make them small enough, it'd be pretty cool. Maybe have them on each side. Maybe like, you know, either, I don't know what pattern you'd prefer to use. I assume the one for like the My Moms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, maybe like on the right side and left side, maybe you can do both logos. Well, you tell would, me. I, I think, think I'm just going to get on the fabric. I think better on one side, so it's, I'm just envisioning like, like offset or dimples something. kind of if you do like. I saw, actually, it's funny that. Did you um, see one? No, the, the NBA store. Um, okay. at, for in my Facebook suggested things for purchase, uh, they're coming with a pre-order for face masks that have like NBA team logos and the logos were on the sides. Oh, like, both uh, sides? Yeah, they were like on the far sides, like the up to oh, here. Okay. That's interesting. So I thought it was interesting. Okay. I'll show you later oh. and you can see what you think. I figured I'm going to get it on the piece of fabric first. Then once we get on there, we'll figure out how to, where it's going to go it on up. the mask. Yeah. That's a good idea. He would prefer a black fabric than like red stitching. Okay. If it's the... CFD logo. Uh, I think I got all those caught yep. up. Mm -hmm. oh. Luis, <laughs> yes. Do you want to post the question or? Uh, Luis says, way off topic, but is that Kakashi Sensei on Danny's shirt? I can't see because of the captions. Huge Naruto fans in my house, yeah. Yeah, that's what I started watching my kids, actually, primarily William. But that was our first anime, really. Then we moved to Dragon... Well, actually, probably Dragon Ball Z was on regular television, but we watched Naruto the whole thing through. It's huge. And uh, I continue to watch anime with my son as much as possible because I do enjoy it. But when I saw this, I got us both this matching shirt and stuff like that because, yeah, I love Naruto. Sorry for the delay of the comments. I try to go back and forth. So I can't load them. I'm trying to read the other ones. Just let me give you something to talk about, Sarah. Kathy says, how amazing is the new sewing room, um, Sarah, like freedom? Yeah, you know, to, it's funny. It, it did feel like freedom in the new sewing room and until Danny, st not your fault, I'm not blaming you, but until Danny started hooking up all the cameras and lights and there's like cords everywhere. So like, a little less freedom, but like definitely more freedom than before. And my sewing machine is off to the side right in front of like three, the three windows in front of the house. So it's lovely. Like I, when I'm on my computer or on my sewing machine, I look out, you know, I can look outside. I see the birds flying past the window and it's just, um, it's really beautiful. We have this tree out front. I know, I don't know what kind of tree it is, but it's got like purplish pink, uh, blossoms all over it. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, it's just really It's funny. This room serene. is quite larger than our other one, but for my area, it's actually gotten smaller than our old, <laughs> old one. And I just couldn't figure it out. And I'll show my friends the pictures because obviously no one's came over. Um, like, if this was the room, Danny's area is like, the, like this tiny and little... And she's not exaggerating. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> so I had to think of another way to be more creative. I put a printer on my desk, my computer, and it's pretty much full. I'm like, I can't have this printer on my desk. There's no room. <laughs> and uh, so I'm, I'm going to relocate my desk, I think, on top of the, this area here. It's like a, a kitchen island, pretty much. And I'm going to put it on one end of the island. So the cabling problems, one of the reasons I didn't run the cable differently, because I knew I didn't want it to run across the floor and just be there. So I did it blatantly so no one trips over it. it you can't walk past it without seeing it. So um, I did all my wiring here, though. It's it's very neat and clean. I did zip tie. Yeah, it, it is. Cable management uh, up here is perfect. Uh, once I get, I have to order um, a kitchen countertop. I'm going to do like our side desk that Sarah's, I don't know if you've seen the picture, but she's got, it's a kitchen countertop from Ikea. And then it's two um, Alex um, drawers that go on each side of the countertop. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side to match this one. And um, so the wires, the wires will be just under, I'm going to probably drill some holes under the countertop here to mount the wires, but it'll, it'll look nice when we're done. Then she could have more of the room on that side too and i'll just have to <laughs> block off a little more on this side it's slow progress i wouldn't say it's set up how we want it yeah to it's be not yet. finalizing 
Yeah. It's just weird because this room, it's got a fireplace across from us. So it really limits of what we can put where and how. So I, I'd prefer to have our desk on the opposite side of this. And we could have just had a nice long desk that we both share. Sort of like our old house. and But we couldn't do that here. So I was supposed to sit with Sarah on the side where her desk currently is. Uh, but she, I offered the idea of if she wanted to put all their machines there because it would look nice, I thought. And she's like, yeah, I love that idea. Then she's like, okay, how about you can go over there? I'm like, <laughs> I'm thinking about going to the basement. We have a nice room <laughs> out there, but I don't want to be in the basement when, you know, everyone's up. We're, the point of where we, this house, when we chose it was this room is, it's originally in a dining room in which we converted to our office. And this room is close to the family room and we're all together. So if we're working, we're still next to the kids and stuff like that. So we're pretty much staying together. <laughs> Long story short, that's what's going on. Uh, <laughs> oh, there was a couple comments on we'll here. We'll have a studio tour for you guys eventually. We just need some time to finish setting up. Yeah, get it all set up, Carly, so it doesn't look like a, you know, terrible. Because, like, what are they doing, you know? It just looks kind of jumbled together right now, but... Putting stuff away, too. Sarah made another quilt top. I don't know if you posted it or not. Oh, can I go get it real quick? Yeah. Okay. You got to walk around like that. Oh, gotcha. 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 Um, someone, Rosemary said, everything is delayed shipping. I ordered from you and it arrived immediately. It was like Christmas morning. Thank you. We try to get our stuff out really quick, uh, but you're working with the postal service and they're doing their best, I'm sure, too. Um, I don't know if they're going to be able to see this. It's kind of... You can hold it up across okay. the front of me. Okay. Sarah, how do you use cork cording? Kathleen wants to know. Um, also, let's go back. Yeah, I don't know. This is going to be hard to see. Here. I'm pretty sure it won't. I was going to use this for a wall hanging. Sarah, hold the same as me and go further back. Is it on there? Yeah, pretty much. Um, this was a quilt pattern from the book. Um, Can I take it down? Yeah. Please? Yes. Let it go. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the quilt pattern was from the book called Charming Baby Quilts. It's all um, half square triangles, and I used um, Allison Glass fabrics for it. It went together really quickly, and I was going to use it. I was going to replace the canvas behind us with that after I get it quilted. Who knows when that will be, but... What was the other question? Oh, the cork cording. You can use cork cording for bracelets or jewelry or for wrist, wrist straps for like wristlets. Um, I haven't made any yet, uh, but a lot of people have been buying it. So the cork cording isn't meant to be used for piping because there's no, it's a continuous cord. There's no um, little lip of fabric to sew it into your bag for piping. So it would not be used for piping. It's strictly a, a finished cord made of cork. Renee wants to know after all this <laughs> stuff that's going on currently, mm -hmm. is all over and said and done, can we please have a week long sewing retreat get together, please? Yes, for sure. I think that'd be a great idea. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be really cool. Um, I, Yeah, I really miss seeing people in person and um, I said before, I liked it when we had the, there was meetups for Illinois and we went to one of them and it'd be nice to go to different states if they're the So Sweetness, like state meetups are still going on and stuff like that. And we just visit a couple, you know, just. Turn. It would be fun just to do like a low key, low stress, like sewing day, like everyone works on whatever they want and we just sew together and have fun. Yeah. That's, yeah. I really want to do that. Yeah, I would totally sew too. Hmm. Use your embroider. That's interesting. Mm hmm Yeah. What if we could embroider that? would be pretty cool. Like, embroider it first, then put that on. Corey up. says, use your embroider machine to do edge-to-edge -edge quilting. Yes. <laughs> I see a lot of people. Yeah, sewing retreat. Um, Come to my state. <laughs> I'm ready. I miss people, too. Everyone wants us to come to their state. How do you get a scant quarter of an inch seam on your quilts? Um, that's a good question. How to get a scant quarter of an inch. Um, so my, my Juki is straight stitch only. Other people that might have electronic machines, you might be able to move your needle over to the left or to the right. So a scant quarter of an inch is going to be a hair less than a quarter of an inch. So not the full quarter of an inch, slightly less. Um, you can either measure with a ruler. Um, we do have the, the seam guide, but that doesn't have a scant quarter of an inch. Um, I was actually, while we're on this topic, I was actually watching a video from Crafty Gemini, my friend Vanessa, and she was talking about how to, um, 
measure for a quarter of an inch while you're working on a quilt because the edge of your presser foot, even though it's it might be a quarter of an inch away from the needle, when you press your fabric open or press the seam open, um, you might not be, because of the thickness of the thread and the type of fabric you're using, it might not measure out to be a quarter of an inch. And what, what I mean by that is you might be sewing two pieces of fabric that are four inches. So minus the quarter of an inch seam allowance, you would think that would be three and a half inches. But I was doing that and experimenting based on Vanessa's video the other day when I was working on that quilt actually. And I was measuring and my blocks were not measuring, you know, the finished, what I would expect it to be um, seven inches it was slightly less. And so I was doing some adjusting on my sewing machine and I have several feet for my Juki that are different widths. So I have the one that came with my sewing machine, quarter of an inch. Um, I have a different one that's I think seven millimeters. So various different feet. So I was experimenting with my feet to get um, for quilt making at mm. least the, the correct um, seam after the blocks were sewn together. So um, if you're looking for that video, it's on the Crafty Gemini YouTube channel, um, how to get the quarter of an inch for your projects. So that was super helpful for bag making. I just used the edge of the foot, but for quilt making, it's much more precise. And so I felt the little time I took experimenting with, um, the, the particular foot I was using and getting the correct increments according to the project that I was working on, um, was time well spent. Um, Sharon says, I just use a quarter inch foot to sew. Um, yeah, for bag making your quarter of an inch foot will be, um, perfectly fine. Um, Sandy says, I see Sandy's comment on Facebook, you and Vanessa together. I love Vanessa Crafty Gemini. She's awesome. I love watching her Instagram feed too. Follow her family. And their... I'm quite envious of her farm life. Vanessa has uh, chickens, cows. I saw that they were moving yep. the chickens to their new chicken coop today. And they plant all their food. They grow their own food. They yep. have, now so they have vegetables recently and stuff. Her husband's into beekeeping now. They got new beehives. And I'm like, wow, I wish. That's something I would not do. I, I wish we could I do all that stuff. I'm a friend of a no. bee. Um, yeah, so I love her channel. Um, again, that's uh, Crafty Gemini. Yep. Anything else? Or are you calling on the questions? Uh, I'm calling on the questions. Okay, so I apologize if I did not get to your question live. I will be looking through the comments to see what people were saying about book club and what other events we can do um, online. Um, but I have uh, one last giveaway for today. We did a lot of giveaways, but I have one more. I'm going to be giving away six assorted rolls of cork. Um, I don't have the exact rolls here because they're at the studio, but I'm just going to hold up uh, two example pieces. Yours will not be cut up. These are uh, my personal stash, um, but six rolls. All you have to do to be entered into the giveaway is to answer this question in the comments, either on Facebook or YouTube. And the question is, tell me an item that you've lost uh, that made you mad. It could be recently. It could be years ago. Like your ago. precision turning tool? <laughs> like my precision turning tool or my serger um, thread guide that I was telling you about earlier. So let me know something, um, an item that you've lost that made you mad or upset. Um, and I'll be drawing the winner um, at the end of the day this Saturday and announcing the winner on next Sunday's show. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, we had a great time. Hope you did too. And uh, we'll see you next Sunday. Happy sewing. Bye, everybody. Bye,